Oh. Hey, boys and girls club. Calvin here. Water. It's such an important resource to us. It helps keep us hydrated. It helps us clean. And one of its best features is that it's transparent. Objects that are transparent, just like this water, are able to be seen through. Just like the lenses on my glasses, or this window here. But what about objects that aren't transparent? Okay, that means you can't see through something. Take this towel, for example. I can't see you, and you can't see me. Or this red cup. Unlike the clear cup, you can see the water. But you can't see the water and the red cup. After this activity, take time to look around your house. Find objects that are opaque and objects that are transparent. Well, what if you could take something transparent and make something opaque? We can kind of do that with our experiment. For this experiment, we will need some water an empty bowl or container some colorful and washable markers a black permanent marker some paper towels and a placemat or a towel Take about 5 minutes to locate these objects in your own house Try pausing the video right now And we're back. Were you able to find all objects? If you're not able to, that's okay. Go out and look for them or have your parents buy it for you. Here we we're ready to start. But before that, we must talk about the many dangers that you may encounter. 1. The markers are not stirring sticks. Someone might actually drink the water and you'll have less marker ink to draw with. 2. Take care not to wave the markers. You'll run the risk of getting marker ink on you, and you'll probably get some writing you'll regret. 3. Do not throw the markers. This includes tossing, missing your toss, surprise tossing, juggling, and as a baseball. 4. Slipping on markers that are left on the floor. 5. Keep from using too much paper towels. They cost money and time to get, so be sparingly with how much you use. 6. Be aware of your surroundings, especially with table corners. 7. Be careful of water spills. It only takes a bit of water to make you slip and fall. So, what can we do to avoid these? We can clean up any water spills and markers laying around and pass materials to others in a respectful and safe way. First, we will take out our bowl and fill it with water. Then, we will put it aside for now. Take one piece of paper towel and fold it in half, making a square. 
Take the black permanent marker, and our first drawing will be a rainbow. So we will start on one end and curve our line to the other side. And another line under the first one. Make sure you press hard enough so that you can barely see the marker from the other side. Now we will do the same drawing but on the blank side using the barely see marker as a guide. And now we have both sides with one part of a rainbow. Now we'll add another line on one side. And the other side. And our rainbow is complete. The next step is to take our coloring markers and fill the inside of our rainbow on one side. Remember to not press too hard with the coloring markers. You can color one section with one color, or you can mix and match colors. With that, our coloring is finished, and we can take out our bowl of water. Hold your paper towel and flip it so the side without colors is facing you. And place your paper towel into the bowl of water. As you can see, the colors start to appear. This is because the water carries the color marker ink as it travels through the paper towel. While the black permanent marker stays since it's waterproof, keeping the shape of the rainbow. Try different types of drawings and different combinations of colors to flex your creative mind.